Unlike other air platforms built for speed, maneuverability, air-to-air -air dogfighting and air-to-air -air weapons, the A-10 is specifically engineered around its gun, a 30mm cannon aligned directly beneath the fuselage. The gun is also called a Go-8 slash A-Gatling gun. Known for an ability to keep flying after taking multiple rounds of enemy machine gun fire, land and operate in rugged terrain, destroy groups of enemy fighters with a 30mm cannon and unleash a wide arsenal of attack weapons. The A-10 is described by pilots as a flying tank in the sky, able to hover over ground war and provide life-saving close air support in high-threat combat environments. It is built to withstand more damage than any other frame that I know of. It's known for its ruggedness. A-10 pilot Lt. Carl Ryan Hayden, 23rd Fighter Group Deputy, Moody AFB, told Scout Warrior in an interview. The pilot of the A-10 is surrounded by multiple plates of titanium armor, designed to enable the aircraft to withstand small arms fire and keep flying its attack missions. The A-10 is not agile, nimble, fast or quick. Hayden said it's deliberate, measured, hefty, impactful calculated and sound. There's nothing flimsy or fragile about the way it is constructed or about the way that it flies. A-10 Thunderbolt II, affectionately known as the Warthog has been in service since the late 1970s and served as a close air support combat aircraft in conflicts such as the Gulf War, Operation Enduring Freedom, Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation Allied Force in Kosovo, among others. 